Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Just a quick tip for you. How to make that bolt short enough to where I can put the acorn nut or finish nut on. I get my hardware in quarter 20 mostly is what I do for bolts. I get them all the way from a half inch all the way up to two and a half, three inches, but sometimes it's just not quite right. I'm gonna show you here. You can see how this bolt is sticking out just way farther than this guy up here. So I'm gonna show you a quick tip how to make that bolt short enough, in this case, to where I can put my acorn nut or finish nut on because that bolt, it would be sticking way too far out to have that nice clean look like what we're going for. So I'm gonna pull this bolt out. I've marked how long I want it with a Sharpie. So I'm gonna take off about a quarter inch. That'll leave me about a quarter inch sticking out. I'm gonna show you how I do that. If you take a look here, I've got that marked where I'm gonna cut it. The problem is if I just cut that with my angle grinder here, I'm gonna end up with a jagged end. I'm not sure how my threads are gonna be. So the way I battle that is I take a nut, I thread that on past where I'm gonna cut. Give myself some space there. Now I'm gonna make my cut and then I'll back this off, put it back on several times while the metal's still hot. And that's gonna help go ahead and clear those threads to allow me to thread on my acorn nut when we put it back into the railings. This is how I get bolts just the right length when I can't quite find one that'll work. Cut it off now while it's still hot. Be careful, because it will be hot. I'm gonna go ahead and back my nut off. I'm not gonna take it all the way off, but I'm gonna get it all the way to that end. And then I can thread it back on. I'm just gonna do that a few times, and then eventually I will take it all the way to the very end. And you're probably gonna have you know, some little burrs on the end there. That's pretty common. I can just kind of knock those down with the end of my wrench. That's gonna get my threads to stay so that when I get back up in the boat, I can put that acorn nut back on. But again, I'll do this a few times just to make sure that while the steel's still warm, that I've taken those threads and grooved them back in in case they were deformed at all. I can hand tighten and hand loosen, so this is ready to go back up in the boat. Now we've got that bolt cut down. I can put my washer, my lock washer, or split washer, and my acorn nut on. And now I've customized that bolt to work so that I can get my control box bolted on. Give that a try. It's great when you have the right size hardware, but sometimes you use what you got and we can make that work more times than not. That rhymed.